Do you want to know how to tie Joe Humphrey's crest bug exactly like he told me how to tie it? Then we're going to show you step by step in this video coming up. In this video, I, we're going to show you how to tie Joe Humph Humphreys' crest bug step by step. I ran into Joe Humphreys a while back and asked him, and he told me exactly how he ties his crest bug, which is something I always wanted to know. So, if you like this video anytime, like, give it a thumbs up, and please subscribe. We are about to 1,000 subscribers where we're going to do a giveaway, so make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any of our videos and be entered in our contest. So now, let's go to the vice. We're going to start by debarbing the hook like we always do. Especially if you practice catch and release, you should debarb your hooks. It makes it much easier to release the fish. Now we're going to start by wrapping wire from the bend of the hook up to right behind the eyelet. Leave room to make your head of your fly. And if you don't, like I think we're using lead here. If you can't use lead in the state you are in or any other reason you can't use lead, use wire because you're going to have to put this wire underneath the fly for a step later. So you can use a black wire or some other kind of wire, but make sure you put that underneath the, the body. Now you want to start your thread right behind the lead and wrap it all the way up to the front of the lead and cover, I like to cover the lead up with thread totally. And then you're going to head cement it. Now you want to tie in a hackle that you're going to use for to represent the legs. And he said light, Joe said light tan. I was kind of surprised to hear that. I thought it would be a light gray. But he said light tan. Now, you're going to put on your dubbing. The dubbing, which was all I was really curious about hearing what he dubbing uses on this fly, is light edge up. Gray squirrel and gray fox dubbing mix. That's the dubbing that Joe told me to use. So we apply that dubbing. You kind of want to make the body cone shape, you know, small and gets bigger in the middle. Comes back down. So we're going to dub the fly. Now we're going to take that hackle and we're going to wrap it the opposite direction that we wrapped the dubbing. This will make the str fly stronger and it'll make a, the hackle stick out more. And we're going to wrap that like you would a rib a fly. You don't want to hackle the whole thing like you would a dry fly. You want to palmer it kind of around. Because when you're done, you're going to cut the top off but anyway. 
You want to make it so it's, you know, even wraps around to up to the eyelet and then tie that off and cut your waste material off. Make it throw on a whip finish here. Like we do every fly, we throw a whip finish in. Now let the trimming process begin. We're gonna trim around the eyelet. If any of them hackles got stuck up in there by the eyelet, gonna get rid of them. We're gonna trim off any off the tail. And what we're gonna do mainly is trim all the hackles as close as you can with, don't cut your thread or your hackle off, but trim as close as you can to the top of this fly, a little off the side. You want hackle hanging down just underneath it to represent the legs of the crest bug. So I'm going to trim that all up and make it like nice and pretty there. With just legs hanging down. I almost forgot this step of tying the fly the first time. So I had to go back in and shoot this little clip. But you want to take a pair of, you know, your forceps or something. And you want to squeeze the lead or your wire that's underneath. That's why you want to use wire. Even if you're not allowed to use lead, make sure you put some kind of wire on here. And it'll flatten out the bug. And the reason why is these crest bugs, they kind of go like that in the water. So you want to make sure you uh, flatten the bug out so it have the same action as the real crest bug does in the water. And let's take a look at this fly. Check it out. the end of the video I was trimming up the hackles there if any stick down below the, the hook you can trim them up now I went to Lancaster where I talked to Joe Humphreys which I want to thank you all all of my subscribers we're almost to a thousand so if you haven't subscribed and you're here now right down in there there's a little subscribe make sure you subscribe because we're almost to a thousand we're doing a giveaway but anyway doing a huge giveaway by the way I met Joe Humphreys at Lancaster's Fly Show, and I wouldn't have been there without you subscribers. Now, if I'd have started this channel and never got subscribers, I'd have lost interest. I never thought I'd even get this far. I thought I'd do a couple tying videos to check it out, and I never knew that I'd get to almost a thousand people subscribed to this channel and tying videos for you. But when I ran into Joe Humphreys at the Lancaster Fishing Show, I only had one question. I want to know how to tie this uh, crest bug. So he told me exactly how he tied it, and even flattening out the lead, he taught me that, which was really cool to learn that, that it goes in the profile like that, which I might start getting to trying to do with some of my nymph patterns, like maybe my pheasant tails, put lead under them, and flatten them out, because the, if you look at a nymph, it is kind of flat. It's not, it's wider this way, top to bottom, than it is from side to side. So I challenge you, go out into your creek, always flip some rocks check out the bugs in your area this will let you know what's on the water before you go fishing and i want to thank joe humphreys for telling me this information and making this video possible and if you haven't go check out if you don't know who joe humphreys is 
I don't know where you've been at if you're fly fishing and you don't know who he is, but he's more in my area, so maybe you don't know about him. He's the Eastern Coast, but go check out his videos, and uh, I like his really little his casting technique he uses. Um, go check it out. Uh, may I'll put a I'll put a link up here somewhere. I'm sure I can put a link up here that takes you right to one of his videos, but go check it out. Joe Humphreys tells you how to catch fish. If you're still here, check out all these playlists. Here's about there's probably a bunch of flies on there that are all killer patterns. Make sure you check them out too. And all that. And there's another button so you can subscribe. If you haven't, shame on you. You're missing out on the best fly fishing YouTube channel there is. Check that out. And you have a good day. Keep your lines wet out of the trees and only give them fish a sore lip.